All right, welcome back to another episode of Stitch Method. Here mm-hmm. we're uh, doing another installment of Fabshua. Fabshua, People Against Bland Songwriting. We just uh, did a uh, film or a video for your channel. And it, was very, it was film worthy. It was, it was cinematic. It was good. In scope. I kind of messed up a story. lot. Yeah, you know, hey. in a great Stitch Method fashion. It's a journey. Mm-hmm. But here we're going to bring you two um, stolen pieces of songwriting from certain songs that we admire. We're giving them to you. The songwriting public to put them into your songs and, and revive songwriting because we don't like bland songwriting no okay had enough of it had enough so mm-hmm. uh since you were the guest on the channel mr sean daniel oh, i'm going first you're gonna go first today all right okay so let's take a let's take a stupid chord progression let's take a bland one a bland okay. let's take a buh a, okay. a buzzwa a bland chord progression. bland songwriting you give me one all right uh, yeah see ya to f oh cool real creative Hey, John oh, guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, see to half. Yep. But what if? Ooh. So what was that? Where was that life just breathing? It was, it was the same chords, but now I'm just kind of going through the notes in the scale. Nice. And adding a different bass note. Mm-hmm. Good. Super common. Yeah, all great. These days by Nico, I guess is kind of like what this is the first. See, I know nothing about Nico. So is Nico a, a band or, or a Jackson person? Brown or whatever. Oh, good, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah same, singer, same singer songwriter stuff. Like when you need to fill out yeah. and not just, you know, I think the worst thing. And this goes with what I'm about to show later is like mm-hmm. you don't want to just play the chords. You want to keep it interesting. Yeah, the so, chords are always going to be there no behind what, anything. The no most complicated what. prog rock there's chords behind them. No matter That's how what. you kind of f- dress them up a little bit. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going from C. Yeah. Two and F. Okay. The third fret on the A string, and the first fret on the low E string. Yep. Now if I'm in the key of C, or I, we can just go backwards through the scale. C, B, A, G, F. In between any two chords, there are notes. Yes. Even if they're right next to each other, the root note can be just that is that easy, right? Yeah, if I'm true. going from a C to a D minor, yeah. it's like, oh, well, where am I going to put a root note? In? You can go outside of the key. More often, if it's a transitional component or element. Absolutely. But this one, we actually just happen to be staying in the same key. So you'll notice that I'm moving the root note, but I'm still playing the chord. Root, chord, B, chord, A, chord, G, chord, full switch to F. Nice. And then I can even transition back. Now I'm going back to the C, F, G, A, B, C. Now, can I stay on top of that for a second? Yeah, sure. Now, he's doing an order, but once you have an order, and if you go, hey, you know what? Like, um, that sounds like a song that uh, that Sean Ian already stole. How do I mix it up? Mm-hmm. Then just mix them up. Sure. You, know? yeah, you mix them up. Make little riffs out of them. Another super famous one, you take a chord. Maybe let's take a G this time. What's interesting, it starts off on the D, and then once yep. it touches the C, mm-hmm. he changes it to a C major. There you go, right? It's like, so cool. you can treat every chord as its own key in mm-hmm. this way, and then just kind of like find those root notes to mess around. Like that whole thing is, you, you can play you can play Norwegian with just on a D chord. Whatever, you know? But you want to make it interesting. That's right. And add your bass lines from the scale. Give it that pab for slap. The pab slap. The pab slap. The pab slap. I can't mm. say it as good as you, mm. you do. That was awesome. Thanks. I, I have something that kind of goes along with oh, it. Oh, yeah? What, so what do you got? About? Well, making the chords disappear. The chords are always going to be there. And now, uh, th- this is, um, you, can, you can see this in any genre, but we're going to talk about, like, riff rock. Mm, riff rock. My favorite rock. Yeah, riff rock, mm-hmm. okay? And so, uh, we have not rehearsed this at all. No. No, we haven't. We really haven't. Um, come up, you know, you, Sean, come up with a simple chord progression and an easy key. Something, you know, something very a simple. A minor. Okay. To G. Yep. To F. Okay. Like that. Okay. So, if you want to write a song and you have the chord progression, say you have the lyrics and everything, that's your chord progression, mm-hmm. but you want an opening riff, well, take pieces of those chords and just make a riff. So, like, it... Wherever you can find chords, if you use the cage chord system, if you use chord inversions, if you use triads, whatever. I'm just going to find, let's see, A minor, let's see. 
Right? We got my A minor oh. here. Mm. And then I was a G. I'll yep. go to uh, this G here. Mm -hmm. And then F here. And you can come riff like. Oh my gosh. I'm already being taken away. And you start off the song. that the chord pieces, just your arpeggios, can stand alone as your opening riff. You sounds totally different then. Totally different. You know, and it's, yeah, it sounds like you're right. And usually when you listen to like a 90s song, they'll have that. Oh yeah. Right? And they're cool, and then the vocals come in, you know, whatever they're singing. Then the whole band comes in. And it sounds like the band was following the lead, but really ah. the lead was the, the lead guitar player was like, I need to write something now? What? Yeah. Okay, pa arpeggios. Pa 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 yeah, page 47 uh, uh, or whatever. It's... And so write riffs around your chord progressions with a chord tone. Let's do it again. Okay. Pick a different key. Pick, Pick a different, different key. Different chord progression, different whatever. Pick the key of A major. Okay. We'll go A mm -hmm. to C sharp minor Ooh. to E. Okay. So A Okay. to C sharp minor. Yeah. And then to E. Okay, good, I got it. So if I, Do I say know, E for two times? Yeah. Okay. So now, if you're in a recording studio, you get the headphones on, and they say, they point to you, and they go, go. And you're going, okay, like, without the chords, like, just. Mm. The main chords in. Next thing you know, you have the opening riff. Oh, uh, <laughs> then you bring the dramatic bass line. Very good. And so make your chords disappear for your opening riffs. And then when the chords come in, it makes it gives the person who the, who played it first the credit. Uh, yes. I got all the credit for that, Sean. <laughs> the chords okay. have disappeared. The chords have disappeared. And man. then watch the ladies appear. <laughs> After the chords have disappeared. That's right. Uh-huh. Once the chords are gone. Then you give them the good old-fashioned uh -huh. pap swap. And then, then you give them the pap swap. And then the chords come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they leave. <laughs> <laughs> surprise. Oh, surprise! Surprise! That's how we did. Yeah, it. I'm surprised he was here the whole time. <laughs> hey guys! I'm Someone's got to hold the and camera. Then everything gets really awkward <laughs> real quick. <laughs> what are we doing? Thank you for being here. On another episode. Is it another episode of Papswa? No. Yeah, I, whatever you want to call it. So, so elite. I think I call it the Elite Songwriting Club. The Elite Songwriting Club. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna call this video the Elite Songwriting Club. Sure. Whatever, no. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever. Yeah. Here's the thing about YouTube. Yeah. To get, to get you ungrateful people to click on this video, we had to title this something totally different. <laughs> how, to, how, how to get the ladies to appear. Yeah, yeah. It can't, it can't just be trust your, your boys. No. Stitch and Sean to show you the way. It should be. Yeah, that's how it should be. That's how it should but be. But no, we had to trick you into, into clicking on this. But hopefully because you your notifications weren't turned on. What's up with that? Yeah, huh? hit your bell icon. Yeah, man. Gosh darn it. It's messed up. All right, let's go, let's go pab-schwap some people. Pab-schwap. Coming at you. <laughs>